Okay, you touched a little bit on, on technology, but let's yes. really talk about that. Okay. Because it's changing very quickly. Yes. And what is your perspective on how technology plays a role in the success and the future success of these companies? Well, first off, it plays a huge role. Now, let's just talk about technology generally, and then let's talk about technology in the cab in the of truck. our trucks, okay? okay? So when we talk about technology generally, the great thing about this combination is we will have access to each other's technology. And, and more importantly, all the dollars we spend on technology to advance each of our companies, now we get a double whammy. So we can, we can use it across the entire base. So you will see more money spent between the two companies in technology to continue to build out our services, to continue to build out our visibility, to continue to build out our logistics, to continue to do all those things that technology can be so helpful with just in, just in our businesses. But, but now I want to talk about technology in the cab. Technology in the cab is amazing. Our driving associates have, have been alone up until a few years ago. I'm, I mean, literally alone totally, absolutely, positively up to them to make every single important decision on a per second basis as they're driving down the road weighing 80,000 pounds, okay? And sharing the highway uh, with, with a bunch of smaller cars, okay? So at the end of the day, today, we have anti-rollover. What an amazing, uh, what, a, what, a, what an amazing piece of technology where literally if the yoke in the truck starts to go a little too much one way or another, the truck takes over. And do we still have overturns? Yes. Do we have 90% fewer than we used to? Yes. And they're continuing to perfect that type of technology. So that's one all of our drivers and, and most everybody in the industry understands. So, so now we're migrating into collision mitigation mm -hmm. systems, which, which if one of our trucks gets too close or if a car in front of us stops, that will actually take over. Now, we don't have that in all of our trucks, but we're ordering it in all of our trucks. Knight's doing it, Swift's doing it. So if you think about, if you think about that, that's amazing. I mean, ultimately, what we're trying to do and what I see technology doing is building a cocoon around that truck to where our drivers are safe, to where the motoring public that we share the highways with is safe. And, and as we can continue to introduce these types of technologies that help us, you know, be safer, it's going to be an amazing thing. Our drivers will have things in their cab to help them if if they err. Now, hey, we, we don't want any distracted driving. We want everybody's heart and soul and focus into going down that road every single day when they're driving. But at the end of the day, we're introducing systems that help secure mm -hmm. the safety, the security of our driving associates and the motoring public. And I see a lot coming there. Now, let's talk about uh, autonomous trucks. First off, our highways and our freeways, they won't support it. It's, it's down the road. And, and really what those guys talk about is, is autonomous as though there won't be a commercial driver in the truck. That is not going to be the case for many years, if ever. I will always fight for our driving associates to be in the cab. And, and, and at the end of the day, I envision our driving associates being much like a pilot. You, when, when you get up to altitude, uh, you know, a pilot can put it on autopilot and know that everything's going to be okay. I see that type of technology working its way into our industry over the next 15 or 20 years. But when we think about security, when we think about the things that can go wrong out there with a truck and a trailer, I, I don't ever see, I don't ever see trucks, uh, widespread uh, in large numbers and large quantities not having a commercial operator or a professional driver inside those trucks and there are people that will argue with me about that that's okay they can they can take whatever position they want but I'm telling you Deborah that's the position that I believe based on my 41 years of experience 
and what I see coming in the next uh, 15 or 20 years. So, uh, and we'll fight for that. Would you say that technology is one of the areas where there will be opportunities for the economies of scale that you were talking about? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Because again, now uh, with common ownership, we have we have the opportunity to spread that technology spend into other parts of our of our business. So absolutely, I definitely see economies of scale around technology.